Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. I'm Paul, and today I've got a little bit of hay to unload. And man, has it been hot today! I uh, just got home from work a few minutes ago, and I mean, it's it's been in the mid 90s. This is October 1st, and I can't believe that it is still in the 90s. And this is actually supposed to be a few more days uh, of mid 90s if not warmer, uh, heat index of 100 or maybe even a little bit more. And uh, then finally, it's supposed to cool off on Friday and drop all the way down to like 70 degrees or something. So um, just crazy. This late in the year and it's staying so hot and then all of a sudden it's going to drop down and be cool. I don't know. I kind of look for it to get hot again. Um, it's kind of one of those strange seasons that it keeps going back and forth. But I, I don't know. I think it... it it might skip fall this year and uh, go straight into winter. But anyways, uh, we've got some hay to unload. And um, what I'm going to have to do with this, because of the way that it's situated and the way I've got to get it in my barn, I'm going to have to put the, uh, the bale spear on my tractor and then spear it, unload it off the trailer, and flip these up on their end. And then I'm going to take my pallet forks and slide up under them and then take them to my barn and put them in a stack and you know the bell spear i can actually do probably like the bottom bell but as you get up higher and get start closer to the ceiling um the way that you have to turn that bell spear to get it to drop off and to set flat or upright um it is hard to manage it that way and I've I've done it, but then you can't really scoot it around or do what you need to once you get it in there because it's all the time just falling right off your spear. And, you know, you can't turn it up on end uh, without having turning the spear down for it to fall off. And I, I've tried all kinds of different stuff with that, like trying to present the edge first and then get the bell to kind of just fall into place. But then it'll scoot or shift a little bit, and then you end up getting your stacks not even. So... Um, I found that, like I say, the pallet forks tend to work the best, so I set it off, get it flat, pick it back up with those, and then stack it and maneuver it with the forks. So, we're going to get a little bit of footage of that.
that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Um, <laughs> I realized uh, after moving all the hay and getting it in the barn, I came down here to my other camera, and I'm pretty sure I didn't have that particular camera recording. Thought I was going to have some pretty cool footage, but uh, we'll just make do with what we got. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, that's a, that's a little tricky. Um, man, our barn versus tractor size is a little tough to deal with. I need a smaller tractor for in the barn because um, that, that tractor is way too big to really be maneuvering in and out of the barn very well anyways. And I kind of make do. Um, maybe later on we'll be able to get us a little smaller tractor, one that actually can kind of fit in there and move those bales. But then the problem is uh, those bales are they're about a thousand pounds and uh, or you know 900 pounds or something like that and then you can't get too small because you know if you get a real compact tractor and you're trying to fits in the barn great and you can maneuver it around but then you don't have the capacity or the height because those bales there the bottom um, or the top of that third bale I mean that's that's 12 feet high and you know the tractor itself is having to uh, set the bell up onto over eight feet and you know if you start getting too small of a tractor it's just not going to lift it up there and uh, but anyways as you can see how I have to use the forks on there I set the bell down and kind of just work it out from under the bell and then between the tractor fitting through the doorway uh, I kind of have to you know I may pull the forks out and then pull up to it and push it over a little bit or try to maneuver it with the ends of the forks a little bit and sometimes it's a little tricky but if you just take your time and don't try to get in too big of a hurry because then you're going to start running through walls and stuff I mean it's it's so easy when you're working you know within inches from the wall to accidentally go too far or you know and then you've damaged something so just go slow if you're ever in that situation um, that's what we do anyways we just take it nice and easy be patient with it Try to work that stuff in there and, and you know, you get it in there without uh, any, hopefully, any bad luck. So, anyways, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. And also, too, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and, you know, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you're out there, you're interested in videos like this, you like the outdoors, you like hay, horses, firewood, farming, uh, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.